everybody, I hope you had a good and safe Halloween weekend. Uh, in case you can't tell, I am gearing up to watch the outdoor game uh, later on this evening, Sunday evening. Uh, so let's hope the Oilers improve on their 1-5 and 1 uh, season thus far. Interesting times. All right. So um just want to give a big thank you uh to all of you i know it's been it's been a term not just for this class but you have other classes so keep up uh the positivity uh you know in your emails in your posts uh etc i appreciate the information that you share and i'm really glad that we're able to have uh, a good dialogue at least uh with some of you and i hope that others are receiving the messages and are kind of benefiting from that communication as well a uh, friendly reminder that, or, you know, or first time information, because uh, last year students uh, after the final exam said they weren't aware of this. Uh, and hopefully it doesn't affect you too, too much. Although I think it one way it might just benefit to have some clarification. And that is, this is a coordinated course, which means that there is um, a team of instructors that are all teaching uh, their material. And we have the same assignments, same tests, and same final. And so this is to make sure that um, if a student has me or my colleague or another colleague, uh, that they are receiving the same uh, examination structures. We also teach the same uh, material, meaning like if you look at our syllabi, we have the same examinable chapters and the same, you know, pages to read, et cetera. Uh, what is different is um, some people have their courses um, online, in person, some people uh, choose to structure their courses, uh, like how the lectures are uh, delivered, meaning not necessarily in person or online, um, but how like, you know, if there's only like a little bit of a piece of a chapter, I'm not going to spend an entire learning objective or 20 minutes covering it. I don't know what my colleagues do. I haven't sat in their classes in a while. Um, when I get the chance, I, it, you know, it's really great when we do. But just to give you some kind of understanding there. That means um, if there is a change uh, that one of us would like to make based on the syllabus, um, all of us have to agree to that change. And so that could be anything from um, eliminating a learning objective from a test or um, adjusting how a test is marked. So this is um, the policy is in place to ensure consistency uh, amongst all students so that one student doesn't get, you know, quote, the easy prop and the other prop gets the quote, mean, hard prof. Um, so it really is to hopefully benefit all students. However, I can understand if some instances, it may not always feel like it's beneficial. Uh, and I will just say, you know, in particularly um, just some recent conversations, uh, it's always good to kind of communicate. And then whatever uh, the profs discuss and decide, um, just understand that possibly some profs want one resolution, the others um, want another. But uh, in order to make a change to the syllabus, uh, to existing um, exams and marking structures, everybody has to agree. All right. So uh, with that being said, again, I hope you had a great holiday, um, Halloween weekend, um, and holiday, Halloween weekend, uh, and I hope that your week ahead is going well. Let's enjoy these fall days while we can. We are post-hurricane season. We are pre-snow season, so this is like the time to, to get outside, really enjoy, enjoy fall. Uh, even if that means, you know, taking the long way from your classes, um, taking, you know, going an extra loop around the building, you know, building in some fresh air and exercise where you can. The uh, rest is just as important as the work, uh, especially because it helps like the work stuff settle in and really sink in. And then we can kind of retrieve it later when we're doing assignments or tests. All right. Uh, so we have another test this week, chapters seven and eight. Uh, check out the news post because uh, you'll see that Ishida has done something different um, with our live virtual uh, Q&A this week. So it really is a build your own Q&A. You give her topics before um, end of day Wednesday and she will construct kind of an exam prep session uh, if you would like. And if you don't like, that's okay. But I um, thought that our team came up with some really good ideas and I'm looking forward to seeing um, what how that is constructed, so the input that you provide. Um, otherwise, please enjoy this week's uh, videos and I will talk to you soon. All right, and go Oilers!